heroes and their herd of worms have almost reached their destination, the fishing resort of Angel's Cramp. And they're not a moment too soon either, for Angel's Cramp has run clean out of bait. And fishermen deprived of their opportunity to fish can be mighty ugly customers. You said it. Finlayson, what happened to you? I had a little tiff with a couple of the natives. And they tied you in knots? Yes, the natives are wrestlers tonight. But it still isn't clear sailing or herding for our heroes. For in a tiny valley a short distance away, their arch enemy is preparing to do them wrong. Buy you an Indian costume, darling. Is all part of Finn's plan to knock off whole herd of worms? Look. In Fireside Crookbook, special fold-out section, see? I do crazy rain dance. We get big cloud bursts. Rain soaks into ground. Worms get sealed, develops into pinumum, pinumum, pi influenza. Gesund tight. And that's the end of her. You know, Boris, you're really a sneaky double-crossing schnook. Meh, <laughs> flatterer. And Boris immediately started his magical rain dance. First, he did the Navajo hoedown. <laughs> then he did the Gitchy Gumi getaway. Gitchy Gitchy Gumi. And finally, the Choctaw Cha Cha Cha. Why are you stopping, Natasha? Got to turn page, darling. Oh. Sure enough, in a little while, dark clouds began to gather above. A sight that didn't escape the attention of our hero. Hey, it's clouding up, Bullwinkle. Well, of course, it never clouds down. Looks like we might be in for some precipitation. Yeah, if it doesn't rain first. Back in the valley, Boris was preparing for the grand finale. Right, as soon as I finish the Menominee Mambo, and the one man do in a deep vein glide. Darling, it isn't raining yet. Just wait. Stop the music! Now comes the grand finale. What is grand finale? Absolutely certain way to make it rain. What's that? I wash car. And Boris ducked out of sight behind a nearby mesa and shortly returned driving a vintage automobile, which he then proceeded to polish to a bright gleam. Sure enough, he had no sooner finished than... <laughs> Unfortunately, Boris's rain dance had been too efficient. Every rain cloud had gathered directly over his head. As a result, the little valley was soon turned into a large lake on which two castaways floated on an old Essex. While just a mile away, our heroes were still safe and dry. Look over there, Rock. It's raining pitchforks and plow handles in just one little spot. Well, it's either a feast or famine. Yup. Waste not, want not. He who hesitates is lost. A stitch in time saves nine. Yep. Yup. Well, enough of this uplifting philosophy. Yeah, I run out of sayings anyway. Let's move our herd into Angel's Cramp. It wasn't much of a move, for Angel's Cramp was only a hundred yards away. But at that moment... Man, that was close! What do you mean, close? It hit the ground, didn't it? Better it than me. But, Bullwinkle, what about our underground herd? Yes, what about it? Could the tiny herd of worms survive a million volts of electricity? Hmm? Don't ask me. I don't have any more lines to see. Then we'll find out next time in the lightning bugs or nuts and bolts.